Nicholas block of marble, yes. Let's see. Nice and smooth on the front face. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty flat along the top, which is very good. Uh, mm, slightly slanted on the sides, but but it'll have to do. Yeah, nice rectangular shape. Yeah, this will do fine. This will do fine. Just um, pardon me one minute. I just wanna just wanna take some measurements here. Okay, let's see. So one, two, three. So about 21 tall, and let's see. Let's measure your depth here. Yeah, sorry, I'm under a slight time constraint. I'm actually in a sculpting competition right now, and I have about 30 minutes to get you to the showroom floor. Okay, let's see, what's the depth on you here? About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 about 14. 14. Okay, and your width. Let's see, what's your width? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Also 18. Hmm. Okay, so you're really almost, almost a cube. Hmm, almost a cube. But not quite. Here, let's make some markings before we begin to rough it out. Got this angled ruler here, which should help a lot speed things up here a bit. Okay, let's see, let's start on the bottom. So I think we want to leave about just about one, two, three, four, eight. I think we want to leave about eight. So I'm just gonna make a little marking on the marble here with this pen, okay? So one, two, eight, one, eight. Got my corner lined up. Okay, eight. Perfect. Okay, let's just do the same thing now along, along the top. And on the corner. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and let's get around the corner with this. And oh, we should probably leave about about six there, right? Yes, I think six. Mm, let's say six and a half. I think six and a half should do. So let's just put the first marking on the corner here, and in the back. Okay, very nice, very nice. We're gonna be using a larger chisel. Again, we're just kind of roughing it out. Only have 30 minutes to work here, so we need to remove large chunks of of um, of the marble at a time. Okay, so please just um, just relax, and we'll we'll dig you out of there. Okay, yes, yes. It won't, it won't be taking long at all today. No. Okay, so please let's start on the side. large chunks off all together just really slimming it down yes um, let's see if I if I think if I hit hit right along It should break break away a bit. Let's see. Yes. Good. It's coming apart. It's kind of like crumbling, you know. Just driving this in onto the uh, left face here. Starting to crumble. Hmm, very good. 
all the uh, excess material. It's fallen off, yes. Well, time to work on the other face here. Where in the world is the marking? Ah, there it is. Don't know how I could have missed it. Okay. Let's see. Let's move some more material. Um, no, no, I'm not, I'm not sculpting you into anyone I know in particular. But, well, rather, I should say, uh, there's an old saying, right? I think a quote by Michelangelo it says that the, the sculpture is already inside the block of marble. It's just up to the artist to remove the superfluous material and reveal the sculpture. So, you're already who you are, right? It just takes a little work, a little time, perhaps and things will sort itself out. Right, exactly. Any stone at all has a lot of potential. It just needs a little effort, that's all. And the beauty will shine forth. Okay, and I'm just gonna remove one little chunk off of the front, actually. Let's see here, and hmm, kind of right, right across the face. Very good, very good. Just need to remove some of the crumbles here. Okay, just gonna. Scrape them off here. Yes, we have the general parameters that we're going to be working within, but we still need to sort out the finer details, right? All the sorting, piling up down here. Good. Messy, messy, messy. Sometimes you just gotta get rid of that dead weight, right? Yes. It's for the best. So that you can be the best you. Yes. Okay. Alright, let's scrape that all off. Good. Wonderful. I do need to take some measurements here before we can start actually chiseling out the details, right? So, we're looking kind of at where the hairline's gonna start. It's gonna be like one, two, three, five, five across. So we say right there, and then right there. Okay, and the broader outline here we have. Starting here, and it's about a few inches down to the shoulder blade. Okay, same on the other side. Very good. And then just kind of just going across. Looks like kind of one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And working along the sides. We've got a one, two, three, six, six. Here actually should be a three. And same on the side. So it's so about, it's about, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Okay. Good. Uh, 
now that we've got the broader specifications down, I'm gonna narrow down a bit, focus in on your actual face. Uh, wanna keep the square angle of the jawline forwards to your forwards to your chin, right? Okay. Keep that about Ooh, about about one, two, three, five. Like one, two, three, four, five. So, so chin, jawline. Just to kind of flip around, right? Flip around so we go the same thing. And one, one, two, three, four. Wonderful. Okay. Last but not least, we need to get your facial features, which are even tinier and more detailed. Gotta get real up close and personal, right? Okay, so distance between the eyes. So we start here, let's on the edge, and then edge of the eye, and then this is the edge of the eye, the gap for the nose, edge of the other eye, and the other edge of the face. Looking kind of from the top here. We have the top of the forehead. Is going. I do just want to take a few very, very almost microscopic um, notes on just the pupils. I want to make sure it's correct, okay? So, just a little, little time for that. I think eyes are kind of very important. Let's so see, just about. Just about. Oh, no more than an inch across, way less than that, way less than that. So it's really just, okay, and good. Let's get the other one. Yes, the, the, the eyes are really important. They breathe life into the whole, the whole piece. So let's see. just want to get a little... Wonderful. That's gonna help 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 this out a lot for the competition, you know. I mean it's gonna be great, so let's pound out these details, right? Okay. I'm gonna start uh, from the top. So just your just your your hairline here, let's see. Moving across. Get a little bit better of a grip. All right, and just kind of follow that down along the side. Just right here, let's see. Very nice. You know, while we're working on it, let's just get this. Let's get the two sides right. So your ear is over here. And that's about even with that on this side. Good. It's okay if it's a little off. 
sometimes a few small imperfections really breathes life into the piece, right? Okay. And I'm just going to work around the back, too, while we're at it. So let's see here. Okay. And a few details on the side over here. focus on the front because that's the main part of the piece okay eyebrows yeah nice and steady okay let's focus on those sharp eyes here I really want to make sure I got a lot of detail into this. That's good. Okay. And, you know, actually, a small little piece there. Kind of just the little tear teardrop and the other eye let's do ex almost exactly the same chances. I'm liking our chances. Look at the mouth. It's going to be nice and stable with this. Okay. There you are. Smile for me, huh? All right. You know, smiling actually uh, tricks the noggin into being a little happier. You know, don't force it. It's a cool little trick. Positive outlook goes a long way, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, now, let's just get the neck, the, maybe like the juggler. Include a lot of details. Humans are complicated. <laughs> just making sure to include every, uh, Every strand of hair, right? Every last one, yes. Every last strand. So many, so many on the head, like thousands of hairs. But you kind of have to pick a select few, right? To emphasize from the, uh, the real you there. And yeah, just picking out a couple strands of hair. Emphasize, you know, just to to draw out primary primary features and highlight who you are. It's a good way to stand out, you know. Lots of hairs, though. Lots of hairs. Very fine detail. Can really only pick a few right now. I wanna, I wanna focus in on some wrinkles. Listen, we all got them, all right? See, right there. Signs of a well-lived life. 
It's your character. It really is. That's it's essential. And we don't want to forget him. Because it is all part of what makes you you. It's all part of it. Okay. I just want to feel for them on your surface. Okay. Listen, it has a. It really will bring out your character. Everybody's got wrinkles. Nothing to be ashamed of. Let's see. I want to look real close. Okay. Good. I just want to finish off the surface using a uh, wasp here. Just smooth everything over, okay? Uh, sort of sand it down, so to speak, right? Okay. Yeah, this will make everything really smooth. Finish it off here for the final presentation. Let's see. Yeah, it sort of just pulls up the smallest grains and makes the surface kind of complete. Gives it that finished, finished look, you know. I do want to just do that quickly around the back. Fantastic to start with a plain block, and then after all that work, to get to see you. You know, that's the that's the really real incredible part about it. Yeah, it's like meeting a mystery person. You know, it's like almost like opening a present. spare, which is always a good thing. So I'll probably just work on adding a few extra details, and then I'll carry you over and we'll go say hello, okay? Yeah. Yeah, this really worked out excellently. Real excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Looks like we've got about 
a minute before I gotta carry you out of here down the hall to the showcase. About 45 seconds. Here, I'll, I'll count down. 40, 